Hi, okay, so for today's activity, it's a math activity, and I've been trying to, in my head, think of things that I can do with you guys that everybody will hopefully have access to do. So I came up with a math activity, and it's basically um, number recognition and then um, associating the numeral with the quantity. So the way that... The ways, I guess there's multiple ways that I thought about we could do this. The first one is using Uno cards. So the downside of Uno cards, though, is there is no 10. But there is a zero. Um, so that's um, kind of the good and the bad with that one. You could use regular playing cards. There is no zero or one, though. But there is a 10. Um... You could use face cards to substitute for the missing numerals if you wanted to. Um, or another way that you could do it is, I have post-it notes here and like a little pen. You could just easily write um, 0 through 10 on post-it notes or any type of paper, honestly, and make um, little number cards. So for the purpose of demonstration, just so I don't have to do much prep work, I'm using the UNO cards, um, something that I don't know, we live in Muskegon School District, and we've been getting some of the free lunches um, for the kids at my house, um, and they've been putting goldfish crackers, and I'm not sure if anyone's getting the um, meals from Oak Ridge and if they're including the same things, but goldfish crackers would work, so I'm dumping them just out on a plate so they're on something clean. Um, but you could use any type of manipulative. It doesn't even have to be food, but I'm just trying to think of things that everybody has. So it has to be something you at least have 10 of because you're going to be doing um, 0 through 10 or at least what numbers you do have access to. And so what you could do is you could kind of mix them up. So And then I'm going to flip a card. So I would hold it up, ask the kids, um, what number they see, they'll see a 2. Then you're going to want them to count out 2. Once you can see that they can identify the numeral and this, they can either snack on them or put them back in the pile and keep going. Um, if you do end up doing this with multiple um, people, I would suggest giving them all their own things if it's something edible, um, just so everyone's not touching it. But you would just keep going through. And next card, four. Now you're going to count out four goldfish. One, two, three, four. Um, if children do not need to actually touch and count on the way out, that's okay. But if you see them struggling, have them do that. That's um, just a real easy way to kind of teach them. So one, two, three, four. And then you could say do it again. Look, one two, three, four. If you see them just pulling them out and not counting, so let's say I have the four and my child just pulls a bunch, okay? I pulled more than four. So um, what I'm going to do though, then you could just do that again. So one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, looks like you have five goldfish here, but what number was on our card? How can we turn that five into a four? And you suggest that they push one back or you wait for them to answer. Um, these are things you could do. You could do these with buttons. You could do use any material you have at home. Um, and like I said, Uno cards, um, just regular playing cards, make your own, any way you can do that.